My name is Mira Eisenberg, and I am the editor-in-chief of the Sidekick newspaper. Um, and I've been on staff for three, this is my third year, but I also took an intro class, so I've been in newspaper for four years. Um, and it's been an awesome four years. I've always been interested in writing, um, and I wasn't exactly sure a way that I could do that that would really apply to people, and also combine like my love for people. Um, and so I, I took the intro class freshman year and uh, ended up finding out that journalism was kind of the thing uh, that would let me combine those two things that I love. So um, obviously it's been awesome. My name is Sachi Venkatraman. I'm a senior at Cup High School. I'm the executive news editor of The Sidekick. So what that entails basically on a daily basis, I receive story requests and assign stories to staff members on The Sidekick for um, the entire news section. So whenever there's a story that I hear about, I will assign it to someone on staff or write it myself. And then whenever a staff member hears about a news story, they'll fill out one of these requests and give it to me and I'll approve it. Um, also this year, um, I've kind of somewhat taken on a role um, with the website and um, I have kind of worked on that a little bit and improved our design and cleaned things up that we need to fix in order to take it to the next level and win the pacemaker this year. So I'm glad that that had a benefit. I really want to major in journalism and political science and it's my hope one day to be a political correspondent or something like that. It seems like the job that I really want to do. I went to this really small obscure museum in Irving and it was kind of in a location that I had never heard of before and we went there and there were these three tiny little museums and we just wanted to go kind of get the story. We didn't really know what we were walking into but um, we went in and we talked to this lady who happened to be at the museum on that one day um, out of like the whole year because they rotate out. So I talked to her and I like she had such deep roots in that community and we walked around the museum and she was like pointing to pictures of historical African American figures in Dallas. She was like, yep, I knew them, I knew that one. And it was just so amazing to learn her story. And My name is Marcus Crum and um, I am the executive sports editor. So I oversee all the sports coverage and really all the sports stories that go online on our website and in our print editions. I'm going to uh, University of Texas and I'll be studying journalism there. And I, um, I hope to work on um, the, um, the Daily Texan and um, maybe the Austin American Statesman. Just, um, I'm going to try to get involved with whatever they have down there that um, is available for me. I really wanted to be an athlete when I was uh, in middle school and um, early on in high school and um, I was able to sort of channel my passion for sports into my writing and uh, that was really cool for me to be able to find, uh, you know, combine those two passions into one and uh, be on the newspaper. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do, to be at the games on Friday nights. Um, I, I just love interacting with some of the players, getting to know the coaches. It's, it's a lot of fun. It was definitely probably the best moment of my high school experience. Um, this whole staff, it's been years coming. There's people who've worked so hard and put so much into our program and we've grown so much. Um, but just the fact that we were the staff that was able to pull it off, it just means a lot to me. And um, I feel like it was very well deserved. Great. What are some of the things that you do? Or you know, what, what is your most, other than that, what's your most proud accomplishment um, as editor-in-chief? Um, I think my proudest accomplishment was being able to, <laughs> this sounds bad, but just not fail, I guess, this year. Um, and in the way that I think that I've been able to like bring people's strengths together um, in order to do what we do. Because it obviously, everybody has a different task. Some people will cross over, but mostly everybody has their own strength. And uh, making sure people are able to combine those to create what we do, I think that um, I'm proud that we've been able to do that. I'm so excited, I mean, just to like, reiterate what Mira said, it's definitely the best moment of my high school career and it's something for me and I know for um, the other staff members that have been on staff for three years, it's something that has been a long time coming and we've like wanted this for so long and to see ourselves be a finalist last year and then um, to lead our staff, our staff to take it in, taking it to the next level, like it's just been an incredible experience and I'm so grateful for it. It's, uh, it's incredible. We, um, last year when we were uh, nominated and we didn't win. I, I remember a conversation that we had in the van ride to the airport where uh, we were talking, we were like, we have to win this next year. Like, you know, I, we, we don't want this feeling again. And 
you know, as, especially it being our first pacemaker as uh, as a newspaper. It, you know, we we were so determined from the start, and so just just the feeling of uh, achieving a goal that we've had for not only for this year, but since you know since that moment that we didn't win last year, it's it's just it's been incredible, and it's it's an awesome experience.